Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing the 1-100 scale full mechanics Gundam Barbatos Lupus. So first off, just want to say thank you to Mind Phoenix Hobby Store for sending me this kit to share with you guys. This is the first 100 scale kit from uh, Season 2 of Gundam Iron Blood Orphans. And like with the HG line, the 100 scale line is now sporting a little bit different look to the overall box art. Uh, it's definitely got a little bit more kind of metallic. It's got all this like metallic stuff going on here on the side. Just overall a much kind of darker look to it. Uh, rather than like a scene, it's just more sort of like a representation of the Gundam there and then in the background we can see the frame being highlighted there. The whole full mechanics thing, Bandai is really pushing that as like a new thing but really it seems like it just has a couple of new parts added to the Gundam frame. I really don't think it's a really a big thing but Bandai is trying to make it sound like it's some really, really big cool thing. Anyway, So we'll see in the review if there's any really thing that's really worth noting that would really be worth giving this a whole new name and making a whole big thing about it but anyway I'm sure it'll be a nice kit I really quite prefer the overall look of the 1100 scale kits more than the HG kits myself so I'm sure I'll like this one quite a bit Barbato Supus is definitely an interesting design so here we go around to the bottom of the box and we can see just all the kind of same stuff there this is uh, number one so yeah instead of continuing on the 100 scale line uh, and this one being I think it would be like eight or something like that eight or I don't know, nine anyway, anyway uh, so they're starting from number one again because they added the full mechanics label to that so I don't know whatever anyway so here we got the uh, images here, just a couple of action poses, uh, a little bit about the mechanical detail, the action realization, it just has uh, the 200mm cannon can I think slide back and forth and then rotate on the rail there on the arm. And realistic frame, here you can see highlighting uh, some of the parts there on the frame, it looks like maybe a little bit more part separation on those, uh, I mean uh, color separation, but not sure, we'll see uh, once we get this open. Again, English and Japanese for everything on here, it's nice. On the other side, just more uh, promo images here of what the kit is going to look like when it's all painted in the standard colors. It comes with the sword mace and the 200mm cannons. It's nice. Like with the previous versions of the 100 scale Barbatos, they come with a little bit more than the HG versions. So like in the HG, the 200mm cannons were in the option set. They didn't come with the kit. In this one, it's all included. So 3,000 yen for the price tag for this. It's basically a master grade. I mean, people keep asking, when are we going to get a master grade Barbatos? This pretty much is a master grade. I mean, it's not on par with like a master grade 2.0, like, or stuff we've seen recently, but compared to old master grades, this thing is much better. So, we got uh, poly caps and a sticker sheet there, multicolor A plate. Uh, then we've got a whole bunch of white parts here, parts for here, there, and everywhere. It's kind of mixed up. All of that, uh, some darker color, like very dark gray, almost black color there. More white parts, there's our one little green part there for the eyes. I like that the eyes are molded separately for these kits, that's kind of nice. Uh, more white parts there. And here's some frame parts, so inner frame, inner frame. And then weapons, all molded there on one runner. And then more frame. So definitely quite a lot in this box here. Looks like uh, the instruction manual is going to be the same as the box art here in this case on the back. More about the uh, weapons and mechanism here. It says it's got the sword mace and uh, all of this 200mm cannons. And then the painting guide here at the bottom if you're interested in reading that in English. There you go. You can check that out. Opening up to the first page here, a little bit about the Barbatos Lupus and Mikazuki Algus there at the top. And then here at the bottom, again, more stuff it says, truly experience the reality of inside of the armor. So, yeah, they're really pushing for that. Like I said, I think for the uh, full mechanics, they added a couple parts to the frame, like this new shoulder or elbow cap part, which was new on the HG as well. Uh, new kneecap part, the feet are different. So, I don't know. Uh, yeah, 
there we go on the runners here. It looks like runner C is going to have a couple parts X'd off. So that makes me think that that C runner is the inner frame of the previous Barbatos kits. Uh, so that's nothing new. And it looks like the new frame parts are going to be on either uh, runner, probably runner D, I guess it looks like in this case. Uh, but uh, I don't know. Or runner B, actually. One thing I didn't notice here in the previous kits is that since they've started introducing English on the manuals a lot more, it actually says the color here, and I guess that's always been there in red, or in, uh, sorry, in Japanese, but I never really noticed that. Not only will it give you the runner uh, letter, but also it gives you the color of what the runner is supposed to be in there. So like gray, 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 white, and the first one is just multicolored. So yeah, I, I had never really noticed that before. That's kind of interesting. Uh, so, like with the previous 100 scale kits, we're building the frame first, so there's the torso section of the frame. It's all going to be pretty similar, I guess. The torso construction is probably going to be pretty much the same. Uh, the head frame, uh, arms frame, frame arms, and then onto the waist, legs, and then finishing up the frame there. We've got that all done. Then we're going to go back and start adding on the armor. So there's the armoring for the uh, torso, armor for the head and fold this open, armor for the arms, arms, shoulders, uh, legs, knees, and toes, and then the waist, the side skirts, putting those on, then onto the backpack, then onto the sword mace, just two parts there, going to slap together, that's all it is for those. The 200mm uh, cannons, not really too much more complicated for those either. And then we have some mechanical arms for the back. Again, not really that useful for this kit in particular, but if you wanted to mount something to the back, uh, it would be nice to have that uh, gimmick built in anyway. Let's get a look at the runners. Alright, so first up is our foil sticker sheet. Pretty small foil sticker sheet for this, so that's nice. Uh, all these gold ones are all going on the inner frame, so that's that. Uh, these couple of uh, green diamonds there are going on the knees. Couple black ones there, not sure where those are going, but maybe somewhere on the inside of the vents for the side skirts, possibly, I'm gonna guess. And then four little yellow ones there, again, those, I'm not quite sure where those are going, but uh, overall pretty minimal in terms of the stickers, so that's nice. PC212 for our polycap runner, again, the same kind of color that it's been uh, so far with the other kits, with the other Gundam kits anyway, uh, matching the inner frame. Runner A in our standard Gundam colors here, white, red, yellow, and blue. So we've got everything all represented here. Just, just Parts are just kind of mixed up from everywhere. All looking nice here. we got the Tekaden logo there on the shoulder armor. The runner marking for these is going to be 1100 Gundam Barbatos Lupus. And then runner B is in that uh, mechanical brownish gray color here for just parts for the inner frame, a whole bunch of stuff here. And this runner is marked just Bar uh, Gundam Barbatos Lupus, so this isn't marked like Gundam Frame or anything like that. So this is all just parts specific for the Gundam Barbatos Lupus. But it's a different story here when we get to the C runner, as this one is not new. This is 100 IBO Gundam Frame 1. And so we are going to have a couple of parts left over from this. And, uh, yep, yeah, obviously the Barbatos feet, stuff like that on here. So it's just all in that same color. And then we also have runner C2, which is just the same, more inner frame parts in the same color and from Gundam Frame 1. Runner D is more inner frame parts, hand parts, and all of that stuff here. Again, this runner is not new. This is from Gundam, uh, Gundam Frame 1 still in this case, so nothing really too new or exciting yet. Then runner E here is just a whole bunch of white parts, obviously parts for the backpack, skirts, torso, head, side skirts, so there's the Tekadan logos there in the bottom corner. Lots of really nice detail on this. Here you can see like on the back skirt, just got these nice little details. Those are like uh, what you'd see like a lot of really talented modelers doing like it was just with chiseling, but we've got that uh, same style of detail already molded into the kit for you. Again, here, not lights, lots of nice little details here uh, on these parts, so it's quite nice. Then we have runner F1 for a bunch more white parts here for arms and shoulders and all of that. Then we have a runner F2 as well with a whole bunch of white parts here, it looks like for the feet and legs. Next, runner G is in a very dark gray color. We have some parts here for like the elbows, the feet, the sides of the legs, and the backpack here on runner G. And then runner H is in that same dark gray color, almost black, but it's just a really dark gray. Just parts for the cannons and the sword mace, and that is it. 
But actually, that's not it, because we do also have runner eye here, I almost forgot about. Uh, just one tiny little piece there for the eyes here in a nice green color. And that is it. So that's it for unboxing the new 100 scale Gundam Barbatos Lupus. Uh, I like the 100 scale HD Iron Blood Orphans, or I like the 100 scale Iron Blooded Orphans line, not HD. But uh, yeah, the kits are all pretty nice. I'm looking forward to the 100 scale Vidar. Vidar, Vidar as well. I still haven't decided exactly how I want to pronounce that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you do have any other questions or comments, leave those down below. Uh, in the review, of course, I'll compare this with the other two 100 scale Barbatos kits so you can get a look at that. This one is definitely going to be a little bit taller, I think. Definitely than the fourth form. Probably about the same as the sixth form, but we'll see in the review. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.